Alrighty then. I have decided to take a brief break from my addiction to deadline. What do you think? You got the whole the ukuk symbol of base on there. We got the matching blue rims on the wheel here and the rest of it kind of calls for my standard sort of Steelers ish kind of livery here for everything. But I'm still wearing the I Fight for the Users white. I mean, I think that looks pretty cool there in the mix. That's not a bad look. I think we're going to go with this. But one of the things I think we need to do is we're going to take a break from all this deadline stuff. And we're going to actually perform this test this bike. Here, let's. Jobs, play job, bookmark, it should be bookmark. Races. We'll do a couple different things here. Let's go out on the Sonora Freeway. Do 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 where's the motorcycles? Time of day, current weather. Let's let's do time of day night. Traffic off, weather clear, clear night, traffic off. Hopefully that won't affect the times too much, but I just can't help but run this at night. There we are, the Nagasaki Shotaro. And let's see how it does. Why is my helmet gone? All right, we can live with that. I have helmet set and do the thing. Uh, there must be a, a race setting thing. And we're gonna see how this does. But I'm really on this. We're gonna try and push the turning capabilities as much as I can break as late as possible and try to take advantage of whatever handling this thing has. I'm really going to try to push it. So if it goes in the bushes on this run, it won't surprise me. Though it does handle extremely well. Let's do the speed. Okay, I was about as good as I could have done that one. I think. It's mostly taking stuff pretty wide open. Let's go. How fast can you do Sonora Freeway? We finished first, of course. 152 is quick. That's pretty quick. Now, the Hikachu Drag. Again at night, same conditions. Okay, we got the right jump on the start. I'm leaning forward to try and maximize speed.
really concentrating to try and push this bike as hard as I did the Shitaro. I think the Shitaro does outhandle it. Objectively, that's how it feels. Subjectively, rather. Objectively, we'd have to do math and things. The brakes on it, though, are, I think are a little bit better. It feels like it shuts down very quickly there. I probably could have taken that flat out. I might have hurt myself a little there. Not that one, though. Yeah, the brakes are definitely more powerful on this bike. We are going as fast as we can go here. Finished first, 150. So, what we have here is that we, you know, with the long straightaways, the top speed on the Hakachi drag gives it a bit of an edge. Whereas in the Titan twisties, the Shotaro has a little bit of an edge. And consider the Shotaro is two million dollars. If you need a racing bike, and you only have a million, the Hakachi drag is not a bad option. Now, there's one thing I want to try for myself here. I want to try my favorite bike on this, just to see how far off the pace it is. I'm going to do it all again. You say, wait a minute, Black Knight, one of those two bikes isn't your favorite? I wish we could save the settings. Rockstar, get on that. Save it since the settings stick when you go from one to the other. That one. My original old Hakachu. I've always liked this one. And interestingly enough, it's supposed to still have the fastest top speed of anything in the game. When wheeling. I think it's even faster than the body. In a straight line. The body's supposed to outhandle it. I don't own a body. This is much harder to do. You can't really wheelie constantly. But I think this bike feels a little more nimble. But I don't know if it handles better. You know, I, I'm guessing I'm giving some stuff up there. I haven't looked at my daily objectives. I'm hoping that wheelie for 10 seconds is one of them. Did an actual endo there. Slapping it back down, trying to get the uh, end of the turn. That felt, because of the bounces in the road, it felt like I was actually going to lay it down. I actually had to get out of the wheelies just for... Then I'll flip it backwards. Come on. How close are we here? Come on! Fish first, of course. 155.601, so five seconds over two minutes. That's still faster than most of the supercars. So the Hikachu, the regular Hikachu, is not a bad bike here. You know what I'm saying? If you if you can't afford a super bike, you're gonna be competitive. Because odds are, you know, 
just give me more things going on. That little bit of time taken up. And there's a couple things I could have done better there. Now, we're not done with our testing here. We're going to do some more. Okay, so we know from Brophy, thank you Brophy, that the Shotaro has the edge on the tight tracks. We know the drag may have an edge on the long tracks, but what has an edge on the stunt tracks? Yeah, all the outfits are a little screwed up. That's as close as I could come here. Let's come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. I'm taking the Hikachi so I can do kind of the tough run first here. The, the wheelie as much as you can my run. Yeah, I could glide that way out there and miss the uh miss the uh checkpoint and all that, but no, we're not gonna try and do that. We're gonna try and go fast. A serious race run. There's no question this thing is great for gliding and flipping around and getting all kinds of points and then losing some some time. Which is great when you have to, you know, kill time because you're trying to get the eight minutes out of it to make monies. Although right now, with double money and everything on uh on the deadline, that's how I'd be doing it. I'll tell you what, I like deadline so much, I don't know how much more racing I'm going to actually do here. Uh, I mean, you'll have a lot of racing to see on the channel. I've got racing all the way out to March, I think. Yeah, if you want to see a lot of classic RE7B, just check out the channel for the next couple of months on, on Sundays. The Sunday race day uh, videos. Now, let's see. Again, we're trying to catch you first as a baseline here. Um, we're going to see how it does. It is a smaller, maybe nimbler bike. And again, it still has the highest top speed when wheeling of any of the bikes, I believe. I think it's faster than the body. Not certain. I and mean, you know, for whatever reason, the body has never felt fast to me. I think it's a skill level thing. That's again, it's a, it's one of those bikes that's fast if you can push the handling to the edge. It is the, it was the fastest bike once upon a time. For that, if you could push the handling to the edge. But now I think the Hikachi Drag and the Shotaro will actually outgun it. As far as that's concerned. Now this thing. Let's be perfectly honest here. What am I doing? These are my three top-of-the-line bikes. And I just crashed. Oh, well, there you go. That's it. We're going to leave it in. We're going to keep doing that. That was about two seconds difference. Three seconds. Let's call it three seconds. We're going to give this three seconds benefit of the doubt. How does that sound? As far as making our calculations... Get level, pop the wheelie. Okay, so 252. So call it a 249, really. Now, because Rockstar doesn't want us to actually replay these tracks, and I have no idea what their methodology is on that. Why was it just to make us go through all the whole rotation of tracks? Believe me, I've seen them all. We're good now. Now I have to go back to free mode and let's do the time warp again. Okay, now let's try the drag. See how that compares. But again, let's adjust it to like a 249 target here for the uh, for the Apache. Time to be 249. Really 252, but that was a lot of wheel spin. Didn't really get a good boost off of that one. But again, that's one of the weaknesses of the bike. You can you can do that pretty handily. In this one, you can't wheelie it, so you have to hunker down to get the top, most out of the top speed. But the brakes 
but not as good as I thought they were there. Okay. The brakes are stunning. But I'm definitely overdriving the bike here. I gotta, I gotta calm it down. We gotta... Pushing it a little bit too hard. What happened there? I, I just touched the ground and it went flying into the air. And... All right, look, you know, a little bit of a confession here. This is about the third run I've had with this bike, and it does that. It tends to bop around. Is it the second run or the third? I forget. So I had to do the, something similar with the thing. No, 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 this is the third run on this one. What's the other attack here? I'm losing track. Track? Ha, huh? get it? But I had it, I had it bounce right into the, right into the water the one time. Hunker down. If it seems like I'm struggling a little bit with this bike, that's the truth. There's something about it where when you're bouncing and bounding around, it's a little too bouncy. That's exactly what happened to me the last time. I went right into the water last time. I saved it this time. But there's something, I don't know if it's the big rear wheel, something to do with the suspension. But stuff can happen to it. Which is why I think I might enjoy driving the Kachu a little bit better than this. Now, that all having been said, it's obvious that it's crushing the Kachu. Crushing it. Even with that multiple second adjustment. Okay, so that's a good six seconds faster than the adjusted time. Nine seconds faster than the original Hakaju. So, right now, even though you'd have to focus really hard, you take the Hakaju drag for this. And what do we got here? Just to make a mental note. Okay, so 243. That's going to be our target. Why can't we replay Rockstar? That's going to be our target for the Shotaro now. We're going to see. Will the Shotaro... Pull down. Better than a 243 on over the bridge. We're talking, what's, what should I use is actually what I'm trying to work out here. It's going to be one of those three bikes. Definitely night. Not morning, noon, night. I'm a little bit concerned that the Shotaro will not have the turning radius to do this. It's, it does supposedly handle better than anything else. We're going to see how it does. It does look really cool. You have to admit. And supposedly, it doesn't really change when you're leaning forward. Give it a shot. Just to be on the safe side. Okay. Not leaning forward now. Now we're just trying to make sure we could concentrate on handling the turns. Okay, that was probably as fast as you could take that. Alright, that that did seem to carve that up pretty nicely. I do feel like I've got a lot more control now. That alone, even if it doesn't pull, if it pulls down, as long as it pulls down a competitive time, might make, you know, this be the, the bike to have. It's it's not gonna, you know, I don't think it's gonna be a case of where, like, if you have a Hakachu, you've got to get it. You can beat these with a Hakachu if you know your Hakachu and you're good at it. But 
But if you're thinking of buying one or the other and you don't mind saving up for the extra, you might want to think about it. Let's see how it goes. This does feel like it feels um, a lot more in control. I felt a little out of control with the Hakachi. The Hakachi drag. And the regular Hakachi, I was pushing it so hard that kind of felt a little wild as it was too. I was wheeling as much as I possibly could. Which, that could just be a fun thing to do. Okay, didn't bounce into the air. That's a big plus. Okay, he's held down. We're a little caught there. That happens all the time, though. That's something you gotta factor in. Almost landed right on the concrete. All right. And I have to jump. Just avoid the jump altogether here. Take this jump into the rocks. And wheelie through the finish. 243 to beat. What do we get? 239. So, as you can see, you get what you pay for, folks. And, you know, if you want basically the fastest... You know, unless you're on a, a course like Sonora, where the top speed really is everything. Chitaro looks like it rules. But, then again, if you're good with Hikachi Drag, you may have a chance. You may, you may have a, you'll be competitive. That's not even think a problem. So if you have it, it's not an emergency. If you're not one of these two bikes, it's going to be an uphill battle. Although, I don't know. Batty, I'm sure that as we race these... Excuse me. As I'm sure as we race these things, I'm going to get beaten by Batty 801s. I'm going to be beaten by regular Hikachus. There are simply people out there with better skill than I have. Zip up the hill here for a good old fashioned nighttime pose. Overlooking the city. Doo -doo -doo -doo. That is just beautiful. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Black Knight. Have a great night.